Good afternoon, viewers and listeners of Tech Point Zone. You asked for it, and here it is. Today's video is going to be on the comparison between LPG and petrol consumption in order to know how long one kg of LPG, which is a cooking gas, can run a 2.5 kilowatt of generating set, which is the one I have here, compared to how long one liter of petrol can run the same generator. Now, this is going to help you to know which fuel source is cheaper for you to run on at any point in time based on the going price of LPG per kg and petrol per liter. So for reference, today is 29th July 2023 and the price of 1 kg of LPG which is a cooking gas in my area is 650 Naira per kg while that of 1 liter of petrol is 578 naira per liter so let's get on with the business of the day remember in the last uh, video we released on the installation of the lpg cng conversion kit which is this I said in, the, in that video that the next video will be comparing the consumption of LPG to that of petrol using the LPG CNG conversion kit on the same generator. So if you haven't seen that video, click on the link that appears above so you can watch that video on how this kit was installed. So now, what you can see on this cylinder now is a different regulator from the one I used the last time I was setting up this installation kit. I realized that even after testing this particular regulator, it was leaking somewhere around here. So it wasn't uh, good enough to be used in uh, carrying out a calibrated uh, test. Now. How I got to know that was that um, I got a balloon and I tied it over this to this point and what I realized that was that the balloon was getting inflated little by little meaning there was little little leakage coming from here and if you're running your generator with this type of you know substandard um, regulator you are going to end up spending more because of the leakage so what I did was to go in to get the cylinder for our gas stove with the regulator that came with it. And by the way, I'd like you guys to know that uh, this particular regulator you're looking at was bought about 10 years ago and it's uh, made by the Cabana Group. So if you are just going out there to buy gas regulator, please, if you can get your hands on this particular type, Cabana group I'll advise you go for it it's very good we using it for about 10 years now and it's still here working and there was no point in time where a, uh, we experienced a gas leakage so this is a cylinder we have connected it with the hose to the conversion kit and for reference like I told you this is the generator I'm running and as you can see it's a 2.5 kilowatt generator then down to the foil part close the foil gate and i'm also going to be draining out the foil in the foil left in the carburetor chamber and we're going to be looking at that soon after which we'll now go through the methodology so let me pause this video while I do that. So here's the foil. It's been drained. There's a leftover drop. 
as you can see. So make sure you drain out any leftover fuel in this kit before you use it with LPG or CNG. So let me pause this video while I take care of that. Okay, that has been secured back. And this is the screw I'm talking about. It has been secured back. So now, let's go through the methodology we are going to be using. And that is uh, going to be guiding us throughout this um, calibrated test we are going to be doing. So the methodology is to, uh, to uh, weigh this cylinder this cylinder and then uh, this cylinder was taken to the uh, gas station and it was weighed and uh, its weight came out to be 17.8 kg so what we are trying to do is we have measured the weight of this cylinder in kg and it came out to be 17.8 and then we will use this cylinder to run this generator which is going to be operating at a 33% load precisely about 800 watts to 850 watts of load on this 2.5 kilowatt generator on this 2.5 kilowatt generator and then we'll run the, we'll use it to run it for uh, two hours after which we'll shut off the generator then we'll take this cylinder back to the gas station to weigh it whatever the weight comes out to be will then be subtracted from the initial weight which is 17.8 kg again the difference will be the LPG consumed over the test period. Then we will do a simple calculation to arrive at the amount of LPG in kg that is required to run this generator for one hour. Yes, so for reference, this cylinder is 17.8 kg. The generator is 2.5 kilowatt generator. The load is about 820, which um, amounts to about 33% loading. And we are using LPG through this LPG slash CNG converter and then it is turned upright which is in the LPG mode and we are going to be running this for two hours so let me pause this video while I start the generator so here is the generator running and the time right now is 1.45 so we are going to allow this to run for two hours and we'll come back. 